Hey, what's going on, guys, and welcome to the Cornerstone Builder. My name is Josh Donnelly, and in today's episode, we are going to take a look at how you can level up your Cornerstone Builder experience and tailor that experience for you, your agency, or your clients. Now, I am a huge fan of the simplicity and focus within the existing Cornerstone interface, but that doesn't mean that there may be things that I want to tailor to my workflow or my experience or simply my preferences. And so in today's video, we are going to take a look at how to easily do that. So without further ado, let's dive in. So here we are in the Cornerstone Builder, and the first thing that I am going to do here is enable my Dev Toolkit. And the way we're going to do that is by jumping into Preferences down here, and then we're going to jump over to Dev Toolkit and make sure that we have that enabled. With that enabled, you should now see the Dev Toolkit icon in the lower right-hand corner of your screen. So we'll go ahead and close our preferences here, and now we'll open our Dev Toolkit. And the first time you open your Dev Toolkit, you might be taken to the inspector, there are settings, there are theme options, but what we want to utilize are the tools. Now within tools, you're going to notice that under preferences, we have UI CSS. This is different from your page CSS or your global CSS. This is CSS that is simply loaded when you have the builder loaded here. So this controls the style and the design of the Cornerstone Builder user interface. So we can go ahead and open up our UI CSS here. And now anything that we add into this here loads inside of the builder to customize our styles for our needs. Now you might be saying to yourself, yeah, I don't really understand why I would need to do this and you may not need to do this but there are some things that i've been playing around with that i think tailor the experience to how i use cornerstone one of those let's go ahead and close this here is the edited tab so you'll notice if we come in here right now we are currently saved you'll notice we have the green save button up here but if we change this to uh the world is an incredibly beautiful place something like that and i get out of this you'll notice up here it says that we are edited. So it shows that this is in an edited state and the color of our save button has turned to this yellow. But when you're working with multiple tabs open like we have here, it's nice to be able to visually see which ones are still in an unsaved edited version. And so one of the things that I've done in our UI CSS is inside of Dev Toolkit, inside of the UI CSS, we are going to add a little bit of custom CSS in here. Now through inspecting the builder, which you can do by simply right clicking and inspecting and taking a look at some of the different variables. I'll go ahead and show you how you do that here inside of your browser, scrolling down to where we have all of these different variables here that are being passed in for the Cornerstone Builder. We can tap into these to create some of our own styles. So in the case of the edited tab, I already have this in my clipboard, but we can target the text inside of that tab and style it with our worn color variable, which is the same yellow that we have when there are unsaved changes. So when I do that, you're going to notice that the text turns to yellow. But I actually wanna take that a step further. I kinda wanna match this save button. So what I'm gonna also do is target the tab itself and utilize this same worn faded background color here, which is the variable CBG worn dash faded. And now you'll notice when I have a tab with unsaved changes, it now matches the color of our unsaved changes save button. Now, I typically take this one step further, and because I am now utilizing color to send the message, I no longer need this edited text here. So I go ahead and put in is edited, document tab is primary, I display none, and now it's simply the title of our page, and I know it's unsaved because the color matches our unsaved button here, which is awesome. Now, that is one use case that I've used to customize Cornerstone for my workflows. But let's go ahead and get rid of this for now. What if we simply wanted to change the look and feel of the builder as a whole? Well, this is where something like theming can come into play. Now, the great thing about theming is there are really only 15 or 16 color variables that you'd have to target in order to completely reinvent your themes. So for example, I've created a theme here, which I call our purple theme. And this purple theme simply targets the root and then the Tico UI 
theme dark because I'm currently using the dark theme here, but then I'm gonna override the color palettes for our variables. What are those color palettes gonna be? Well, I'm gonna target our background base, our workspace, our workspace headers, our loader, our buttons, our inputs, etc. And when I do that and I put in our purple color palette here, you'll notice that the entire builder turns to this purple color for me. And now everything works with this color, including our backgrounds, our inputs. If I click here, you'll notice all of our inputs change, etc. So things are looking nice here. But let's say instead of our purple theme, we wanted something that was more of a high contrast theme. Well, we can alter our 16 variables and create a high contrast theme that we can use throughout Cornerstone. But let's say we wanted to take that a step further and do some sort of modern, more slate theme. Well, we could put something like this in here. And now we have that modern slate theme in here as well. Now, I personally really like the standard dark mode within Cornerstone, but it's nice knowing that we have these options. As a professional tool, this is simply one of those features that enhances and unlocks your capabilities within the Cornerstone Builder. As always, I look forward to seeing what you guys create, and I will see you guys in the next video. Happy building!